Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to resolve the issue if your window fails to create a recovery drive. Let us first try to create the recovery drive. To this end, just need to come here to the search window search bar in the taskbar and write recovery. And uh, it is uh, it appears here in the list, and I click this. Uh, it asks me permission, and I say yes. And here this window opens up, and uh, backup system file to recovery drive. This must be selected, and then I click next. We can't create a recovery drive on this PC. Some required files are missing. This is a problem. So when this happens, you need to go to your C drives and check whether the recovery, where the window recovery image is present or not. And that you can do by coming to your C drive, the drive at which the windows is installed and come to windows folder. And on windows folder, come to system 32 folder, click, double click this and then go to recovery folder. If I search here for recovery, this one is recovery folder. If I click this, so here is no a window recovery uh, image that is missing. We need to create that message and that we will do from an ISO file. So keep on watching the video. I, I'm going to generate the image of wind recovery file and will bring that to this recovery folder. So to generate the Windows recovery image, you first need to uh, download the Windows ISO file like you see over here. And if you don't know about how to uh, create ISO file for Windows 10, uh, I would suggest you to watch my videos on this subject whose link I will add to the description of this video. So you need to uh, right click on the ISO file and then mount it. You just need to click on the mount option and if I mount it, it uh, and I come here to, so it is, uh, the, the ISO file is mounted here and, and an extra disk has been created in my computer page. So um, here inside the uh, ISO file, uh, double click the source files. And in the source file, search for install. Keep on uh, pressing the I button on your keyboard and you will come to install ESD. So you will either have install ESD or install WIM, that is window image file. Right click on this and come to 7-zip and click on archive. So it is extracting now and it may take some time. Uh, there are different folders and the different numbers in fact represent the different versions of the windows to see which one version of the window is represented or which one folder correspond to which one version we need to open this XML file. I double click the XML file and you see the information are encoded inside the uh, HTML file. And if you understand this, the one folder corresponds to Windows 10 Home, right? In folder one, we have Windows 10 Home. In folder two, if I come down and see, it corresponds to Windows 10 Home N. And folder three in the archive directory then corresponds to, if I come down and see, uh, it corresponds to Windows 10 Home single language. And if I come to folder four, the folder four uh, corresponds to Windows 10 education. So I will uh, choose uh, folder four in the uh, in the list and I go back and here is folder this folder corresponds to Windows 
thin education which is version installed on my computer. So I open this folder and in this folder I click on Windows folder and in Windows folder I search for system 32 and then I search for recovery folder and in recovery folder this is the window recovery windows image. So I select the image file and go to the copy tab and click on it to copy the image and then this window opens up I browse over and click on desktop and then I select this and then I click OK and the, 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 the window image file is now being copied to the desktop. We need to wait for a while So it is now copied. If I come over here and it is here on the vendor on the desktop, I select this file and then Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy this file. And then I go back to uh, the Windows folder on my C drive and uh, within there the system32 and then the recovery file and paste the copies window image here at this position. Now I re uh, try to create the recovery drive and if I come over here repeat the process and you see the recovery drive is now looking for USB and I would insert USB into my so the it has uh, detected the USB that I have inserted into my USB port and select the USB flash drive. I select this one, everything on the drive will be deleted. Okay, create the drive and again. This may take very long, so I stop the recording and will come back to you once this is completed. So the process for uh, creating the recovery drive has been completed and this message appears. The recovery drive is ready. I finish this and at the end, if you haven't subscribed to Safi Mix, kindly press the subscribe button, also the like button and thanks for watching.